Hi there, this is Mangi Chetana Kumar and welcome back to our YouTube channel Eternal Learning. In this video, I have given a complete information about electronics and communication engineering. So if you watch this video till the end, you will get complete knowledge on what electronics and communication engineering is all about. So let's uh, get into this. But before that, if this is the first time you are watching this channel, so please do subscribe and share this channel with your friends because you know that I've been making a lot of videos on free online courses, educational stuff, motivational stuff and many more. So please do share this video with your friends and family so they might also get benefited. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. See, uh, when we talk about the uh, world's largest growing sector, the one thing which comes at the top of our mind is electronic sector. Uh, see, electronics and communication has always been a priority stream in engineering academy and in the present situation where we are completely dependent on data signaling, telecommunications, uh, a lot of uh, this, you know, programming and all this stuff. So it has given a lot of prominence than prior to this stream. So it has got a lot of scope compared to other streams as a student can offer any a specialization after completing degree in electronics communication engineering so you can go with computers core electronics telecommunication information technologies and so on so there are uh, these are few to name so but on the job perspective front you can choose to be in the product side service side or even you can go with programming so if you talk about uh, the product companies we have a samsung qualcomm nvidia intel amp and uh, many more and in the Service base, we have Arisen, Wipro, TCS, Calsoft, and many more. So, we'll discuss about this in the uh, uh, going forward in this video. So, before getting into the career opportunities, so let's discuss about the specializations we can do in this uh, electronics and communication stream. So, we'll discuss about the top five which are in trend in this 2020. So, the first thing uh, we would start with uh, embedded systems. So embedded systems is a combination of uh, computers and uh, its hardware and software designed for a specific function or functions with a larger uh, system. So these systems are used in variety of technologies across industries like uh, automobiles, uh, mobile phones, uh, industrial machines, medical equipments and many more. The embedded system is expected to continue its growth its rapid, rapidly. Due to growth of IoT, that is Internet of Things, uh, IoT applications like uh, wearables, drones, smart buildings, surveillance, smart transportations, these are just samples. Uh, Embedded system has great career growth and also uh, we have a lot of scope uh, on the job front for this uh, embedded systems. And now comes, uh, if you talk about the PLCs uh, and the SCADA, uh, the PLCs are the programmable, uh, programmable logic controls and the SCADA is about the supervisory control and data acquisitions. So if you talk about the PLCs are the con which controls a complex industrial process such as running machines and uh, motors, whereas the SCADA is a central system used to monitor and run plant process. Uh, so uh, and also uh, this uh, PLC and SCADA programming has got a lucrative career in the field of uh, the field area. And now uh, when we talk about the CCNA and the CCNP, uh, these are the certifications offered by Cisco systems. Uh, and these certifications are offered in associates, professional, expert and art teacher level. And these programmers uh, gives us a good ground in some basics and uh, prepare for long term career. So it's a best certification for business. You can go with this and also there are many network engineering uh, openings are there in the companies. Uh, one who does the CCN and CCNP has got a lot of scope into that. And now coming to uh, now next, we'll talk about the VLSI. So VLSI is all about the very large scale integration, as we know the meaning of uh, no uh, acronym for this. Uh, so it is the process of creating an integrated circuit, so which are also known as ICs, by combining millions of MOS transistors into a single chip. Actually, the VLSI professionals are always in high demand and all the upcoming technologies like, you know, talk about artificial intelligence, if you talk about machine learning or IoT, blockchain and uh, whatever you, uh, you take in the present uh, situation which are growing now. So all this needs a platform to run and that is semiconductor uh, is a base for all. So it has got a lot of opportunities, though it is you now off late, uh, the VLSI and all this, uh, the name uh, it got, you know, Less taken, but it has got a very prominent uh, in the electronics and communication field. 
now we talk about the ever growing uh, the field telecom uh, it's also known as a uh, telecommunication or telecom is the exchange of inform information uh, you know, over significant distance of uh, like you know electronic means or it could be voice it could be data voip uh, voice over internet protocol video or whatever it is the medium for this now telecom is in constant development and will always uh, need everything from engineer to uh, sales people to there is a cutthroat competition in this but we have a lot scope of uh, career growth in this and now we will talk about uh, the post graduation so once you are done with electronics communication engineering so what is next so if you want to study further you can go with the post graduation programs like we have uh, the, the specialization you can go with our the micro electronics uh, we have a vlsi design you have a uh, electronics design and technology robotics embedded systems signal processing and also you can opt for telecom engineering and now we talk about uh, if you are talking about uh, the career opportunities uh easy students have variety of choices like you know they he can become electronic engineer uh, he can choose with electronics and comi- uh you know communication designs uh, and uh, he can also choose from the optical communications uh, wireless communication robotics embedded system digital electronics telecommunications power electronics consumer electronics solid state a uh, physics control uh, systems lot lot many uh, vlsi as as we discussed earlier we have a vlsi you can also opt for nanotechnologies mobile com- there are lot of things you no know, mobile technologies there are lot of things you can choose from uh, and uh, if you talk about the career opportunities uh, uh, we have many companies like you name international companies intel amd cisco ibm samsung we have sony and if you talk about government run uh, we have isro uh bhl esi ecil uh, ntpc uh, there are lot of companies uh, you can choose from so you can uh, go with that and uh, the required skill set uh, for the jobs like you know if we uh, want to go with the telecom jobs you should have you know the skill set you should acquire a skill set in the network switching or uh, uh, voip or interactive voice recognition there are a lot of things if you if you want to go with the telecom jobs you have all these things into this uh, mobile communication related jobs or else if you want to do with the ccna ccnp if you if you are done with the ccna or ccnp certification that's enough you can go into the networking side or uh, if you want to get into embedded then uh, as we discussed it's a chip design a chip level designing uh, transistor process technology microprocessing microcontroller sort of tech, uh, skill sets are required for this and uh, for vlsi uh you can go with the vsdl verilox and for the circuit design jobs you can go with the electronic circuit design basics so uh the, we have all these things into it you can go you can choose anything of your choice so electronics communication has got lot of scope compared to other streams uh, so please explore i will i will share a lot of the descriptions uh, details about uh, this courses uh, links I'll share you the links about this courses in the description so you can go through and can explore through. Okay, so that's all for the video, guys. So I'll be sharing a lot of videos. I'll be making a lot of videos and other streams also. So please be in touch with this channel. Please share this channel with your friends and families. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Thank you. Take care.